Let's get salty! Hey everyone, Zeddy here again today with a brand new video and it's our day one patch review. Yeah, we had that hotfix go live. These three cards in standard all got nerfed, getting all top three classes and well, did they do much? Did it really do anything? Also, the arena has a bit of a problem. It's a little bit broken. Uh, Blizzard also responded about, you know, where are the wild nerfs? Where are the warrior buffs? And I also just wanted to let you guys know how you can earn some free packs literally right now if you're watching this live, but also throughout the weekend you can earn some free packs that you don't want to miss out on and you know what you don't want to miss out on being a part of the cool people club and be one of the first 69,420 subs douchebag zeddy's already sub so if you like i've earned your subscription hit that sub button down below give the video a like big giveaway going on at that milestone let's get into everything so if you didn't know yesterday a hotfix went live that saw construct quarter lose a durability we saw vengeful walloper lose its buff this came out as a seven drop was buffed to six and then put back to seven. And we also saw Light Ray uh, gain a mana. Gain a mana, the top three classes, all getting very, very subtle nerfs. I even said these are pretty minor nerfs. So we mentioned that yesterday. I'm like, I don't know if it's gonna do a lot. And Aleko Garrico, the Blizzard Balance Guru, did go on a Twitter to comment about this, give some feedback on, you know, what got hit, what got, you know, what didn't get hit. So let's go over it. And Aleko said some minor balance adjustments coming in today for standard. That was yesterday. Today is Saturday. Yesterday was Friday. Just putting that out there. Time moves, you know, he tweeted it. Anyways, I'm being weird. Anyways, for early patches like this one, our goal is to make high confidence changes, which aim to open up the meta a bit until we can come in and make bigger changes later with access to more data and player sentiment. Because they want to know how people are feeling like, are you hating facing this card? Maybe we nerf it, but even if it's not that powerful, they don't want to do the feel style of nerfs now. They also want to do really high confidence stuff. You can think of this patch as more of a band-aid than anything else. Expect things like buffs and more foundational nerfs in the next patch. Also wanted to note that we're discussing Twig in Wild right now. I can't make any promises yet, but we're monitoring, monitoring the situation. Well, it's at an 85% uh, mulligan win rate. I think we know there's going to be some changes. And well, people asked about that. Jack, who's a former rank one legend player, said, I would like to request more transparency on what's going on in wild. Everyone would agree Twig is far more broken right now than say Light Ray was. And yet with the ability to make a quick change demonstrated, it was ruled out ahead of time. Why? Jack Hitton with the hard questions and Aleko did respond, which kudos to him. It's all about confidence. We had a lock in this patch with one day of data in hand and one day of data of standard is greater than one day of wild data on volume alone. And I think that's pretty reasonable. You know, uh, there's a lot more people that play standard than wild. And to be fair, that 85% number that Memnarch put out there wasn't put out until like a day or two after, right? Because it's really hard, even using HS replay, you notice I rarely ever show wild stats because there really aren't that many. It's really hard to come by. So there is very much merit to that. And he said, outside of crazy infinite combos, one day of wild is almost never gonna be enough for us to be confident in changes. And that's reference to the test subject early ban where there was literally gonna be an infinite OTK with like test subject, radiant elemental, mind seer, and like the reborn spell. Like it was, that was just gonna be broken. There's no way around it. And they, they basically banned it temporarily ahead of time with the instrument tech, we had our fears. Most of us figured it would probably break wild, but we weren't 100% sure, neither were they. And again, that is why. And he said, for clarity, I requested to add this patch to our schedule months ago, specifically so we could correct for standard balance outliers after a large set rotation. We still have a regular post expansion pot patch coming when you normally expect one, which would be like in a couple of weeks. So not really the answer you love to hear, right? Um, you'd love to hear like, yeah, we looked at it right away and yeah, we, we decided to act immediately. I feel like if they went to the, the wild content creators and just asked the people on Twitter and all that, they'd be like, yeah, day one, you should do this. I mean, when they put that thread asking for hot takes and standard, right? Everybody was saying at least temporarily ban the card, all that stuff. They chose not to. Basically, they didn't trust our word. They want their own data on it. And now we do have to suffer for it. So honestly, I understand their point of view. I just don't really like it because again, 
Wild Now is a complete crapshoot for quite some time, but maybe there will be another hotfix. We know they do hotfixes quite often, and they're gonna have to do one for Arena, and maybe they can fix in a fit in a twig thing, because if you don't know about Arena, well, it got kind of broken by this whole thing. I, I tweeted this, what should I pick? I was offered two muster for battles on a discover option, and you'll notice a wild card. And well, the wild isn't available in Arena right now. Basically, they put in the core set that wasn't in there, they didn't put in the core set for some reason. It got missed, so they put it in, and that has somehow broken Discover. So you can now discover, uh, generate, discover a wild card. Some, somebody tweeted this one out. This one's pretty amazing. They discovered Kazakusan, which is wild only. They had played enough dragons that it was active. They played it, and it deleted their deck because the uh, treasures, I guess those aren't broken. Those don't follow the rules, so they're, they're wild. And you're playing standard. They just... Don't appear. It was very similar, I believe, with a bug with where you could play Arena Jara, which wasn't supposed to be able to be made, and you try to get a Colossal and it added nothing to your hand. So, yes, if you are playing the Arena, at least as I'm recording this, the Discover options are bugged where you can get wild cards, and on average, that's a big time nerf to Discover, which honestly, I didn't really mind. I don't mind that. Discover's way too good in Arena, but Deathlight doesn't have to really uh, get that um, penalty, at least with spells and all of that. So I imagine that's something they're gonna have to hot fix. So maybe Twig can get in there because Wild is just, it's just bad. It's really rough. It's not fun to have the Druid opponent have 10 mana on turn four every game. And that's like the worst case scenario these days. It's crazy. They were also asked about Warrior. Will the team address Warrior? The numbers don't look good on Warrior. And well, we could take a quick look at HS Replay. Yes, Warrior keeps dropping. It is down to 39%. Again, crazy that Rifts haven't carried them. Aleko again responds, we'll be doing buffs in the next patch. If things look how they do now, when we're putting that patch together, then those will include some Warrior buffs. I'm not really confident on Warrior buffs moving the needle a lot but it's better than nothing. So again, uh, he did allude to the fact that, yeah, Warrior will get some help. Maybe they'll make Claw cost one for Warrior two. But with regards to these balance changes, is it really impacting much? And there's people that really don't believe it has. Zacho, the lead writer of uh, Vicious Syndicate said, Construct Quarter is one of the weakest cards in basically every Death Fight deck. This ain't it cheap and Deathlight has been the best class so far. We also had comments from Luna who stated, I think we forgot about Relics, but that wasn't a really popular deck day one. And that's, you know, what happens when you only nerf with one day of data, which is again why I'm like, you might as well wait unless you have to really hit something, which none of these really needed to be hit immediately. And the fact that they're so like minor, I don't expect things to change a lot. And looking at HS Replay, again, these numbers aren't even 24 hours old, but it still shows so far the Paladin, Deathlight, and Demon Hunter are the top. Like, it looks identical, but that may be just the data hasn't updated. But honestly, my expectation is it probably doesn't change much. It really is true that the uh, location in particular with Deathlight was not the greatest card in the decks. A lot of decks ran one of, or a lot of people just consider cutting entirely. If you look at the numbers that this is before, you know, the nerf and all that, Construct Quarter was like down here. It was like decent near Mulligan, not great drawn win rate, played win rates like average, like it was just an average card in the deck nothing exceptional and it's like yeah it's probably not going to move the needle too much for the class that's dictating everything and again with regards to the other uh, cards walloper and uh, light right yeah they come down a tiny bit slower but at the end of the day they weren't really oppressive and i don't expect it to change much so do i think the meta's changed a lot not too much i'll probably have a deck recommendation video tomorrow if things look a little bit different but overall yeah the balance patch does not look like it's super impactful other than um breaking the arena apparently and breaking the wild player in warrior players hearts leaving that mode and that class effectively useless and broken and what about the free packs i also mentioned free packs well, there is an event going on literally right now, literally right now over on Twitch. I don't know how long it's going for. It's going for today and tomorrow, starting at 2 p.m. CEST, which I believe is 4 a.m. Pacific time, 7 a.m. Eastern time. And it's over at twitch.tv slash Solari. It's linked in description below if you want to check it out. And it has been confirmed that there will be at least two standard packs for watching for four hours watched. I'm assuming across the whole weekend or it could be two packs for each day. I'm uh, not entirely sure, but at least go check it out, see what drops you can get. 
and standard packs contain the latest expansion contain anything in standard it's all duplicate protected so at least you can get some free stuff maybe you get super lucky and pull like a signature card or something like that so go get your free packs and let me know what you think about in the comments below about the balance patch what you're hoping to see in the future maybe with buffs or whatever and we'll hit you up tomorrow with maybe some more deck recommendations we'll have to wait and see anyways if you enjoyed the video please like and subscribe have a great day and stay salty my friends